That's good. What's good? I'll tell you. Whoa, it's abuse. <laughs> Today we are at the Mammoth Village Fest. Feist. Village Feist, right? Yeah. And uh, we got Azure Prime over here. Got his pack of ribs. Just some quick ribs from burgers over here. I mean, as you can see, they pretty much fell right off the bone. Oh, yeah. Which is a good sign of any rib snack. Yeah, snack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're also gonna do some beer. I think we're doing some of that mammoth brewing that's over in the tent over there. There's also some over in that side, if you can see that really quickly. And or maybe some Thai food. Um, maybe some line dancing apparently. 10 p.m. Probably not do line dancing, but we're going to some happy hours. It's more ramp. It's more ribs. It's more uh, beers. And then uh, we'll see you very soon. And then, uh, okay, bye for now. For now. For now. For now. No, I didn't. Make what? Oh yeah, I didn't make that one. <laughs> and this is uh, what we're just starting off with. We're at the smoke yard. Because you can't sit on the fire. We're at the smoke yard. It's a well, smoke place, but they had one of the most enticing happy hours. That was from two to six, pretty much every day. And they also, uh, it's like two dollar beer. Well, two dollar beer turns out to be Rolling Rock, but still four dollars for a quarter for the man's quarter. And uh, four dollar uh, well drinks. So Van's got her uh, Long Island iced tea. Jeff's got his uh, G, G and T gin and tonic. I got my double nut brown. So we're starting getting some wings. We're starting off, uh, you know, we had the ribs, and we're planning on just getting some cheap beers here, and then uh, using our uh, our lubricated selves to go and buy or eat a lot more ribs. There was how many ribs? Is there five, six different places out there? At least, at least five or six different booths out there. They're most of the restaurants are in the, the town here, and uh, just all ribs. And the cool thing is a lot of them are doing ribs, uh, single ribs. So you can just go and just get one rib just for the sake of trying not to get a whole platter. But having several ribs was actually pretty nice for that one. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. They, do the, they do the three ribs for five bucks thing. Just keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's exactly it. Just here's five. You know, we get to all try it. Three ribs. I'll try it. Um, three one. So we're going to huh? get the taste. It's 25 to $30 for all of them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's yeah, a that's a good deal. So we're going to uh, do that in style. We're going to drink some more Mammoth beer, probably, because I think that's pretty much almost all it's getting for here. My hair looks pretty good still. Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, just Dave, man. He's Whoa! Been, he's a still cute. He's got awesome. country music going in beers. What we got here is Mammoth Brewing. This is their, uh... Oh, crap. What was it called? Well, uh, it's their Blonde uh, Bach. Blonde Bach. Yeah, I haven't had it yet, so. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Kind of, uh, almost kind of sweet. Sweet malty. Yeah, very sweet and malty. What do you think? That's good. That is really refreshing. Six bucks a beer. Why can't be the first one? We're getting some more, but we're about to hit some more beer up. Or beer? Ribs. <laughs> We're gonna hit some more ribs on. Get our ribs on, get our cobbler on! No, ah, okay, bye for now. Ah. <laughs> Mill barbecue rib. Mill barbecue rib. Oh my god. 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 That just flew up. Whoa! That just flew off the bone. Wow. Good sauce. Good rub. Oh, it's got a rub on it. Oh, it's dry rub. Dry rub, dry rub with sauce on the side. Oh man, that's good. I can't hear you. Oh, you can hear me, right? Oh! <laughs> oh, it still didn't cut. No! Soon. I can hear you. Clock tower. Clock tower, single rib. All right, let's see what this is. All right, all right. I'm just gonna jump into first impressions. One. Looking at it, there's a bit more black pepper. A bit more black. Oh yeah, it is. Very meaty rib. I'm though. looking for big meaty on the on the rib. Oh baby, it's so tender. Did I make a handle? Handle made. Oh god, how is it? A lot of black pepper flavor. Oh, I can't wait for that. But now we're super spicy. Yeah. But you definitely know it's black pepper. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. did it. I like that sauce. It looks good. It's really it's, it's sweet but tangy. What? It's a little sweet. Yeah. Sweet but peppery. Alright. Hold that at me. Oh yeah, peppery. Mm. But it was sweet. 
but very tender. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, good. And you can taste the pork. Oh, that's up there. That might be my favorite one so far. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, plus tower. It's got definitely African pepper. Definitely African pepper? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Definitely yeah. African pepper. That's good stuff. Dig it. Cheers. Oh, tied up. All right, this is our uh, Mammoth Thai restaurant. And this is the, uh, what is this? The sticky pork rib with a house plum glaze. Nice. All right. Oh, look at it. It's dark. Yeah. It's definitely got a little really dark that. color, so. So Van's gonna jump right in. Well, let's take a, a, a first uh, look at what we, what we can oh, kind of see here. in the sauce. And there's still also a little bit of white pepper. I mean, it's got a plum yeah. sauce. So it's gonna be a little sweet. Yeah. So uh, go, go for it. Just go. Just dive do it. That, Just do it. Oh my god. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right out of the barbecue. So that makes sense. Oh, I smell it. It's so good. Yeah. Wow, that smells really good. It tastes like barbecue rib, but. Asian. <laughs> okay, kind of like the wings we have a little bit, maybe. All right. Let me hold this and. Oh, okay. Just take so yeah, let's get that. Uh, I said, I like the color on the back there. Yeah, it's pretty. Like it's, it's just tangy, sweet, tangy enough to be good. Oh, yeah. Like, great. Let's feel it. Yeah. Okay. You need to try this. There. Transition. I will hold uh, that. And let me okay. Get, and let me get. Well, I can't around. hold this though. Okay. And before, I want you to try it, and I'll give you my impression what I think that's like. Okay. Sticky rib. Oh, there's something specific here. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is to me? What is that? Shashu bao filling. Yeah. That sweet pork filling oh, in the yeah. rice bun. Oh. I love that. Oh stuff. yeah, like a steam, like a steam pork bun. That's totally what this tastes like. Oh, boom. But I like this, and I don't like those. Oh, that might be me. And, and once again, juicy right off the bone, amazing. Really good. I think I like that one the best. Oh my god, there's another bite there for you. Salmon trade off uh, on the. Um... <laughs> there's a pro status. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, Thai sticky plum glaze bun, rib, win. Go. Island one first. The island sweeter. one first. Oh, sunglasses off. Yeah, you believe it. Oh wow, everyone's going. In. Okay, not you. Yeah, this is from the. Uh, what is that? Uh, it's the, like Laka uh, Laka Nuki Laka Nuki uh, restaurant and tiki bar, um, which we heard sing some horrible karaoke the other night. But we got two ribs. We got the one on the left there is the island. Uh, rib, and then the one on the right is the Asian rib, which we're actually almost guessing that the uh, sesame seeds are like uh, wasabi sesame seeds because they're kind of green. They are green. And when you take a big whiff of it, it kind of clears your sinuses out of it in a good way. So let's uh, let's dive in. All right, uh, I think we should do because so, so the island, island one's going to be a little sweeter. This one's straight off the grill, so let's let that cool down a little bit. There's also that. Okay. So we're going to try to smell it all. Look at all the meat on there. Man, that's just that's just sweet, just no, sauce. Awesome. <laughs> Damn, man. Every time we buy those, I just look at them, they just fall off the bone. They're all just so perfect. So, an island's okay. Yeah, alright. Save that there for me. Look. Yeah, those thingies are spicy, and there was one on there. It's just, it's I'm gonna red. die. It's good, babe. You know, it's pretty good. It's kind of, it's got a little bit of a, a spice to it. A little bit. I think maybe we should jump into the uh, Asian now. Oh, um, look at that color. The color. Like, you see how we got like the little chili flakes in there? Oh yeah. Black pepper. And what I'm guessing wasabi sesame seeds. Oh jeez, look at the juice on that. I'm gonna die. That. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you eat the bone? Oh my god. No, it's all cartilage. Oh, good. Then it's easy. Uh, it tastes really good. All right, let's go for this. Oh my god. Well, that's just like a revelation. No, I like the taste, but it's too spicy. It's spicy? Oh, the soy. I don't know about wasabi, but it's perfect. It's got sweet, it's got spice. Everything I nice. Those sesame seeds on oh. I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, yeah, oh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Sense the island, okay. <laughs> that okay. Asian is good, though. That Asian is really good. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. You know what they like? You know what they like? Oh my god, hit the button. <laughs> really? Thief rib. Thief rib. If you ever, if you were ever curious what kind of rib was hanging out of the Flintstones car, mother of God. Thief rib. Thief rib. Or actually, so actually, it's probably woolly mammoth because we are a mammoth. Relevance for the win. All right. All right. So, steak on a bone. That's what this is. This steak is from on a bone. this is from Yard uh, Smoke Yard. Yes. Which is a place we just went for happy hour. We got our wings and we got our beer on and our drinks. Oh, I got my beer. And, and I gotta tell you, you gotta love the idea of a smoked chicken wing, then deep fried and covered in barbecue sauce. That was good. <laughs> but we're doing beef rib now from the same place. All right. So now here's the conundrum that we have with the beef rib. Is that everything else has been pork? Everybody else is pork. So this is like the uh, red-headed step, the giant red-headed step child of our rib experience. I'm digging in. I'm digging in right now. Dig it, dig, dig the big old plunge. Look at that. That's like prime rib. Oh man. Okay. Bam. Hey. Shannon, whatever we're calling you. The hey. chili. Did you say chili? Oh, on the cornbread. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's chili on cornbread over there. We might have to open this tasting up a little more. That is. Delicious. Nice. That looks yeah. so tender. It's so good. So tender. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, okay. She's she's leaving with the beef rib. So we're probably gonna go ahead and grab some cornbread, some more beers. And oh, uh, she came some more. What? Oh, she came back. What do you think? You need to try it. I'm gonna try. Okay. Before I take it off. This is so good. So good. That's all the words I have right now. It's so heavy. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. It's like, I mean, it's beefy. The sauce is so tender. The sauce is tender? Yes. Oh. Oh, this is good. It's good beef. It's really good. Okay, I'll take another bite. <laughs> wow. Beef is good, but I don't know whether to include it in the uh, comparisons. Well, still, uh, the thing is, I mean, we're here to experience the thing. This is kind of the okay. smoke yard. This was the specific thing we're featuring was the beef rib, but we're, we're probably gonna do the pork ribs from it too. Um, I just want to, I just want to throw in an editorial comment on, on why beef ribs are awesome. Medium rare. This is really good. Beef ribs can be medium rare. All right, continue. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, so, we got, uh, oh god, what was that place called? Two Meats. Two Meats. Two Meats. This is their uh, their rib, which is a... You're not even, You're not even on it. it. Was it blackberry? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like a blackberry There's something black, sauce? Blackberry barbecue sauce. Blackberry barbecue sauce. So, uh, let's uh, let's have Van dive, dive into this one first. Okay, cool. so we'll oh, also, we just refilled on the uh, Mammoth Lakes. Yeah, we got brewery. the Mammoth Brewings, the Golden Bach, whatever it's called. I still don't know, but it's really Delicious. Good. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just let's go through. Gosh, I got This is so good. <laughs> wow. Awesome. That was lead skill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, she's all mine. <laughs> this is so good. Eat that red. All right, so now, and this is what? Now, what kind of sauce is on here? Blackberry barbecue. Blackberry barbecue, blackberry barbecue sauce. Blackberry barbecue sauce. Glaze. Blackberry barbecue glaze. Well, put out the sauce. That's how ribs are. That's how ribs are made. They're glaze. That's remarkably sweet. I Ma imagine, yeah. No. All right. Okay. There we go. I like the slow pan. That's not slow. That was, that was a close up. I like to zoom fast. <laughs> you guys to zoom back. Okay, you're making me sick. <laughs> sick. Good. Sweet. Very sweet. Fruity. Good. It's, really it's, good. it's unique. Yeah, it does kind of have that flavor on the end. Very. Yeah. I am, I am seriously 
just making my face worse by wiping myself off with these hands. Don't use your hands. This one's my favorite. The rib? Yeah. Honestly, this is a really good rib. It's a great rib. Great texture. It clings to the bone just enough where it's not falling apart. But it's done. It's done. Oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> Chipotle. We're not talking about foil wrapped crap burritos that you make yourself. Well, you don't make them yourself, but you tell them what you want. We're not telling anybody what we want, we tell them we want ribs. We're we so ribs. sorry, Milo, but it's true. Hey, we got ribs. We got ribs. He's the manager at Chipotle. He's my drummer. Uh, Chipotle Mezcal. Mezcal is a uh, pretty rough form of tequila, really. <laughs> so these are basically the spicy pepper, jalapeno, roasted tequila sauce. ribs. And the bone is with that thing a lot of sauce. Oh, yeah. A lot of sauce on there. Alrighty, I'm just grabbing the rib. This is what this is what's happening. So, here we go. Oh yes. Tangy. Big tang. Big tang. Big tang. <laughs> oh dude. Oh. Handle. Handle. I've never been in a place where there's this many good ribs. This is so difficult. Oh god, the smell is over. They're all just right flying here. off the bone. Great, like There's completely flying off the bone. Holy goodness. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it is warm. Yeah, it's all over, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's rich. Um, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you got that because they're appropriate. Okay, she's gonna move my beer. You can take your thing. You got, you got a clean hand? Your left hand clean? His left hand's clean. But not my face. <laughs> I'm gonna need to jack this okay. real quick. Oh, God. oh, sweet lord! Are these both the same? Yeah. Okay, so I just decided to get two mezcal ribs. Wow, yeah, that sauce, like the vinegary. Yeah. Sauce, like it. it Very bright. It goes right into the uh, senses. It stings a little bit. It stings so good. But it's really good. This is like this is utility too. Yeah, this is good utility spicy rib. Oh. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, that's just good. That's a good rib. Like that with a margarita? Or or, or a nice cerveza? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cerveza. <laughs> Un cerveza, oh, por she, favor. She's got some sauce in her mouth, too. Well, how many we got left? Right we, there. We at least got one more left. But I think we uh, two more. There's two more. We got two more left. One or two. <laughs> Smokeyard. So we're going back. This is the same place where we just got the beef rib yeah, from. The beef, yeah. So this is going to be the uh, uh, Campertashi uh, Cafe. Uh, we got the double rib on this one. So this pork. Is, this is the St. Louis pork ribs. St. Louis pork ribs. St. Louis pork ribs that we got here. It actually refers to the cut of the pork rib. It's a back rib that doesn't have the weird parts on the back. Now this isn't cut, so basically what we have here is a Uber rib. Uber rib. Uber rib. Oh It smells amazing. I mean, I wish, I wish you guys could smell what's coming off these ribs right now. And God, Kevin. he's not gonna stop. You might want to take it from yeah, him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. See, here's Ooh. the thing. He's gonna discard that bone. Sweet, spicy, yeah, that's quirky. A, that's the great balance of sweet and spicy right there. I'm making it easier for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's ripping that bone out. Boom. Magic. Right Add it to the pile. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then there's that bit, which is usually a pain. All right. Ready? Who has right. a clean Kevin, hand? Kevin, go. Who has a clean hand? Whoa. All right. All right. Oh my god. God, those are good. This looks so good. That, that now might take the lead for the Uber old, like, uh, good rib. Good sauce. Perfect blend. It's got a good dry rub on there, and they throw some sauce on it right Perfect before they give it to you. Spice, rub, spice rub, smoke, but it doesn't overpower the rib. It doesn't overpower the pork, and that's always important to me. This is so good. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, so good. This is my favorite, yeah. Now, this is a woman who doesn't normally eat ribs or like ribs. No, she'll take like the ribs. Them. And look at it. The it's maintenance so is worth it. It's all over. Oh, if she could be balls deep in it, she would be. That didn't make sense. 
<laughs> You're Somebody welcome. Else eat it before I do. How many more we got? One, two, two more places. You want a couple more places to go? <laughs> so our next stop, we got CJ's Grill. Okay, we just did a little bit of their sample, their chili, which was like they were the nicest people. They were the ever. coolest people ever, and they had this like spicy kind of all, like what have all spice? They had like all spice. They had a little bit of turmeric, maybe turmeric, chocolate. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. Cincinnati style, so there's chocolate in the chili. I mean, it was a bit of onion. It was a meat paste. No bean. It was a meat no paste. bean. It was a meat paste. A yeah. little bit of spice, but not much. No. But forget that, because you know why? Should we go sit next to the bear? Some ribs. You want to sit next to the bear? We're gonna eat some ribs. We're gonna eat by the bear. So this is the. Uh, the well, I don't know what they call them. Just barbecue ribs. But uh, no, these. Yeah, no, this, uh, no, this sauce is. These guys had special. Oh yeah. Because they use uh, the Mammoth Brewery root beer. In the barbecue sauce. Yeah. And I and when we were like splitting it up. <laughs> and when they were splitting it up, I tried it and oh my god. Oh my god. It was good. Well, it makes you like the root beer sauce and it mainly makes me want to try the root beer at the brewery. That sounds like a good That's idea. That's exciting thing. So what we got? So we got three so you know, late in the game, especially after a few mammoth oh. brews, we're getting a little bit serious. So we're we're not doing individual sharing, we're going all in. Yeah, forget that. You don't need that. We will share all yeah. three of them. We, we have, yeah, we'll probably end up sharing all three of them. But he'll probably eat that one, so we'll share the next two. I have a feeling <laughs> this is going to be a really good rib. <laughs> I don't think he's going to put it down. It'll be falling. I don't think he's going to... I think we're going to have to steal it from him. <laughs> Hold on. My hands are cold. I have your beer. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, <laughs> okay next. Yeah, okay. I can Wait, one of those guys. Hold we're on. big on the ribs, baby. What did you say? Ready? These are so messy. When this guy split the ribs up, he just used the tongs and twisted. Yeah, it just destroyed them because they're that tender. Oh, look at that uh, This is all me above my fingers. So do you see that? Do it. Do it, do, do, do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You're seriously so going into the food porn industry. Put on me and I don't care. Is it serious? <laughs> Food we should x-ray this. Oh my god. No. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, can I have some? Can I get no. it on that? I want to, no! She, I want to get it on that. Oh my god, it's like falling apart. This is like the best. Okay. Yeah, Kevin, you need it on that. Okay. Here we go. It's, it's sweet and delicious. Smoky. Porky. Oh. Oh, no, pork. Yeah, pork I mean, that, 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 one, that, one, yeah. that is where the pork so is good. elevated. It's like brown sugar and root beer and Ugh. amazing and I think I'm going to cream myself. I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying awkward things. Oh, I have burning sauce in my face. Wait, which one's here? <laughs> the most full one over here. That sauce is interesting because it's very sweet. Very it's sweet. very sweet. Very sweet. sweet. It's like candy, but you know, it's like it candy is. bacon. It is kind of like bacon. The pork tastes delicious. Yeah. It's cooked perfectly. It's super juicy, super tender. Those might be my new favorite. Because they're really easy to eat. When I saw them breaking up on with the toms, Sorry. I figured this would be your favorite. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Root beer. Tender, and like I knew this, the sauce, because the root beer makes a good root beer, root beer sauce. Be a good thing. <laughs> Oh. That's more, please. Me, me. Give me more. Go through a It just. Uh, yeah. Patience is a virtue, by the way. We've been waiting for. Uh, this is the bistro. The bistro. Um, their sign says they have the best ribs. Um, you see that? <laughs> and we've been waiting. We've been waiting here this whole time, and people watching and watching some horrible, disgusting people do terrible, disgusting things while drunk. <laughs> We're not going into too much detail. But we just ordered. The, I will. We just we out. just ordered the six ribs for five dollars, and I'm pretty sure we just got a dozen for waiting. So <laughs> again, eight. patience is a virtue. Oh my just god! Just be patient. Okay, ready? Okay. We, we may not have to. That's get one rib. Down. Come on, Azure. Well, you can do it. Well, quite frankly, I just kind of lifted one, <laughs> and they fell apart. And it fell apart. So. Yeah. Oh Don't make that my face. god. Don't make I, that I'm not. <laughs> they are. They are the best? Do you need a rib? I'm yeah. so freaking excited right now. There's, just, there's just a loose bone that just slid out of some meat right there. Can I just try this right now? Yeah. I'm just going to try a different rib. I'm going to eat this one. Oh gosh, ready? 
Oh my god. This is a private moment. <laughs> I'm so glad we waited for these. Alright, let me let me let me just dive in too. <laughs> You're that was, heathen. That was all bone. But that enough. might be the best rib I've had yet. Yeah, these are good utility ribs and good all over ribs and just good, good ribs. Wow. They're sweet and tangy and tangy wow. and sweet. Oh my god. And so much meat. So oh, much There you go, Kevin. There's your, there's your rib right there. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best. <laughs> now, where's my beer? <clears throat> Over there. <clears throat> Never mind, we've had a lot of beer at this point. Two gin and tonics and two, well, for me, two gin and tonics and two uh, whatever we've been drinking. Okay, that can go there. Yeah. God, I Guys. love a pile of bones. That's like a trophy. Okay, I don't know when this thing is rolling around. It doesn't even matter actually when this is rolling around. The fact is, these these are all restaurants that are here in Mammoth. All very local. So if you're here for skiing, for mountain biking, for fishing, hi. For um, anything. These are ridiculous restaurants. We got CJ's Grill, we got the Bistro, um, Smoke Yard. Um, the only thing that's a shame that's not here is Angel's Barbecue, but because they're close to remodeling. But if they were here, I mean that would have been a great addition as well. We would love to try that, but oh my god, it's this is so rib good. porn. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay, well now we're making that weird transition. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I didn't think it was awkward. I think this is the last one. <laughs> I've had a few. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you had a nice trip. <laughs> it was so good. iPhone. Apple makes quality products, by the way. Or whoever <laughs> made your cover makes a quality <laughs> product. My cover makes quality products. Stay tuned. What we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to actually figure out who's the best. Who wins the prize for these ribs? Because, again, if you come to Mammoth, go to these places. I never knew that Mammoth was such a rib mecca. This like, is a this rib is mecca. This is a big time rib mecca. I don't like ribs. These I'm are so, amazing. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so happy. Thank you. Don't cry. I'm going to cry. Okay. They're announcing the winners right now. This is our uh, refuse from our... Uh, our bistro experience with the probably the best ribs I had for the night, but they're announcing the winner. Second, second place for second, chicken. Second place was second place for chicken. Alright, let's see if we can see that. Congratulations. The smoke yard. I don't think you can, so we're just gonna do commentary on what's going on. Second place too. For chicken. Smoke yard got second place on chicken. So we haven't gotten ribs yet. I haven't found out the ribs yet. That's good. We didn't try the Burgers Restaurant! For who? Chicken. Located First right place on chicken? We didn't try chicken. We didn't try chicken. So that's okay. Yeah. Call Dad. We won first place for chicken. Maybe you should try it. Well, they got burgers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Burgers. That's Eureka. the way. Chester says, ah, oh, jealous. I like all of my chicken. Okay, maybe there's food. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I got like eight. Here you go. Well, before they announce the ribs winner, who's our ribs winner? Well, I like I think we have different votes. My favorite was BJ's, but I also like CJ's. CJ's? CJ's? You like CJ's? CJ's was kind of the root beer barbecue sauce, which was really good, and they were good ribs, too. Good on the pork, they were really meaty. Uh, Wait, pick up for ribs. Okay, here they're announcing, right, they're announcing right. the ribs. They're going to announce How's theirs, it? and you'll get ours too. This, this is going to be an extra long vlog, by the way. Oh my god! This is going to be, a, this is gonna be like a 25 minute vlog. I don't care. Because we're talking about ribs. Yeah, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matt, he did show up. He just came back on vacation just to pick up the trophy. Chicken, third place. Matt, to me. Congratulations. I don't know if you guys can hear that too, but uh, they're they're announcing the chicken uh, barbecue. We didn't do any chicken, obviously, but we just focused on ribs. ribs. Oh, here we go for ribs. Here we go for ribs. Here we go for ribs. Third place. Third place. Burgers restaurant. Burgers. Yeah. Oh, see, which was good. Burgers were good. Good. They were good. They were good. 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 Good.
Yeah, the burgers were good. Good sauce. They're good. It was good. You know, they were just all around good utility all right, ribs. Here we go. But this is, this so is where third it place. Is. So I agree with that for third place. And burgers has been Woo! here. Burgers has been here for a really long time too. So yeah. they kind of, you know, they have, you know, they got their stuff together. Currently, you know, they 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 kind of have a big following here. So. You know, you got to kind of wonder with a place like that, just how much influences their vote. But I don't know. I don't think so. I think they really no, just I, taste I them. No, I think everyone tasted it. I mean, it was good though. I mean, I, I agree. I give them third place for good utility ribs, but no. the next two are going to be important. Yes. Because I'm, I'm, we're, I think we're either going for the Asian second ribs place. in the Hawaiian place or the Chipotle for second. That's what I'm going for second. Okay, second place winner. My cocoa from Tida. Oh. The Thai wing, the Thai, the Thai wing, the Thai wings, Thai ribs. To me, to me, that was a risky uh, and unusual proposition for second place. That you go for an Asian rib for second place. I think that's bold. They were good though. They were great. They were really good. Which one? First place, baby. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. Good job. Woo! Yay! <laughs> That's good. All right, we're getting into first place here. All right, first place. This is, this is exciting. This is exciting. Then we'll see if that actually matches. That's creepy. That was not okay. Not right. Hi. Not right at all. That's weird, especially when I have this. The 2012 winner. 2012 rib winner, baby. Yeah. Is Toomey's Restaurant. With the, with the uh, blackberry. Two Those were really good. Those were yeah. Great, but they were very good. Two was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 blackberry Black, rib sauce. The blackberry was, it was good because it was good, sweet. Yeah. Little, yeah. Not much, a little bit of kick, but the flavor, the aftertaste flavor had a little, definitely some berry in it. Yes. That was a good stuff. I'll go with it. Yeah. yeah no, I respect that. I res their choices. choices were good. Their choices were good. So, but for us, all right. For let's us. talk about us really quick. I like CJ. So she was down with the CJ. So that's yeah, the root beer. CJ's that is the root mammoth root brewery root beer. Root beer. Yeah. it's the mammoth brewery root beer. They can't get more local than what they've got offering right there. Yeah, and yeah. unless they grow the pig themselves. And they were very meaty, deliciously meaty, good, tender, tender, I mean, very big tender. ribs. I mean, they were very, very sweet, very tender. Uh, do you have a second place? Or we just go for first. What's your best? My yeah, first was CJ's. My second is either going to be two meals. Okay. okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. For me, for second, uh, for my second. first, honestly, God, I love, I love the spicy sweet going of the uh, smokeyard. Actually, those are really overall, good. Good. overall, when I want a barbecue, dip, that's the flavor I want. Meaty. Spicy, not overpowering. The, the first part with the vanilla, too spicy, too much smoke. That's the perfect balance of that. Second place, right now, please put your hands together. Just awesome. For the just day, very, 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 very closely by the Hawaiian place and their Asian style rib. Yeah, that Asian rib was amazing. Great they spice. Really good, but they're too spicy for my lips. So All right. that's why. I didn't so, use them. what? Uh, so what I'm gonna have to go for is. Uh, my, I would say my uh, my third place, and actually these are kind of close. My third place would be the Chipotle one. The Chipotle mezcal to the oh, those were great. Ribs. They were good because they had a good spice to them. Really good barbecue flavor. Yeah, they did have a bit of kick. I love those ribs. Uh, second place would have to go to the uh, the bistro because they were super just awesome, super able, super tender, great good people there. I mean, they were just great ribs. But I think the one that I might remember the most is going to be the uh, the Asian ribs, from the wine place, because those were special. Like the plate, the seasonings they use were very Asian, like a little bit spicy, very Asian, very Eastern style. Uh, I, even though the, I think in the end of the day, the bistro might have had my favorite ribs overall ribs. The one I'm probably going to remember the most is going to be those Asian ribs. Yeah, the wasabi, sesame sort of thing. I think that's the one that's going to be the best one. The bottom line, this is a great way to bottom line is get some mammoth if you want ribs. Freaking delicious. Go skiing. Go Freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. Also, you know what? I just want to shout out, give a shout out to Brother Pig. Brother Pig. For giving his all that we may sup on his tasty flesh. Brother, also, thank also, you, Brother Pig. 
Yeah. Also, brother cow for that very tasty bit. Brother cow, a little bit of brother or mama cow. It's probably uh, mama cow. What's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. This has been your epic village fest. You know what? We haven't done any gaming yet. We don't need to do any gaming because it's about abuse, it's about Azure, it's about Sienna, it's about. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, we got off on our tram a little bit too early. All right, a little bit. We ain't driving and drinking. But we can help corn walk about a half mile to our abode. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> At least three stops. There's probably four stops between. That's okay because we can use the walk. Uh, all we've eaten tonight. All we've eaten tonight is salty, sweet, soused meat. Oh my god! And now we're finishing it with kettle corn. And beer. And beer. We're beer. We're gonna play some pool. Mm. And go in the pool probably, Maybe. and do a little tubbing. Maybe even a sauna. Oh yeah, oh. we should probably sweat it out a little bit. Yeah, get the meat sweats out. <laughs> That's disgusting. By but the it's way. true. I don't care how true it is. It's all. It's in my hair. <laughs> Sienna, Sienna's uncontrollably salivating right now. It's in my hair. Uh, if you thought it was over, it was just beginning, but actually it's over. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs>